So how can we shift our perception of this global economy crisis? What's going on right now? How can we shift that? Well, I think the, the in, in, in essence, the economic laws, as they are taught in the schools, are based of, on the premise that there is scarcity. Mm -hmm. And in another part of our interview, I try to explain that there is no scarcity, that there is just abundance because everything coexists on this planet. So if we are willing to reallocate our belief system from scarcity into abundance, from understanding that there, from there is not enough to there is enough for everybody, and to, to become aware that we are here together and that indeed in certain places and alas many places in the world many people are not having enough are not having access to the resources on other parts of the world there is an overload of stuff so if we really go deep in our hearts and understand that we have to help and serve one another in a way that we empower other people to get access to the same resources, for example, that we have in the West, and use them in a balanced way, in a way that we don't harm nature, but that we allow nature to regrow itself, then I think we have the, found a solution. So it would be great if, if we would help to remind one another that there is no scarcity and that there is abundance, and then also act upon that kind of belief.